I escaped the hardest Minecraft prison ever made. The Peen Prison. And I know that's a very weird name and the build itself is pretty weird, but I wasn't the one who made it. So my friend built me a prison that he said was unescapable. And he challenged me to break out of the prison. And of course I told him I would be able to break out of the prison super easily. So he sent me the IP to his server and told me to try and escape. So when I logged in, I spawned on top of a bedrock platform and it looked like there was nothing around me. But then when I looked down to my left, I saw that there was an anvil and an enchanted book right next to it and when i looked on my right side i saw a crafting table in the middle of the air and there was nothing i could have done so i just fell down when i fell down i went to the anvil and i took the book that was right next to it and it turned out to be a looting three book and then after doing some more exploring i found out that there was a spider in cage and i found a sign that said here pointing down so i assumed i had to get a redstone block or something to power that area and when i turned back around i found a chest right under the platform i was on but it was too high to reach so i knew i had to get a block to reach it and right next to it was a crafting table table and I was able to reach it to craft but I was not able to break it down so I decided to continue looking around and I found a room that had a bunch of magma blocks two pieces of snow and a pumpkin's head and directly across from me was a chest with an enchanting bottle above it and that was exactly what I needed to use my looting three book and to the right of that looked to be a room right next to it but the drop to get there was five blocks down and I had no blocks to get back up and there was only two snow blocks inside so I decided to go back to the main room to see if there's any blocks that I could use and when I went back I found three wooden planks that was placed right at the spider's cave so i grabbed them and went back to the smaller room and i decided to jump down so i crossed the magma blocks by shifting to not take damage and i picked up all the enchanting bottles inside the chest and then after that i decided to go to the room that was on the right so i crouched all the way over there and i saw a chest and a crafting table floating in the middle of a room i opened the chest and it was a wooden sword inside and right underneath was a crafting table and i decided to craft the only thing i could which was a wooden shovel so after i crafted the wooden shovel i went back to the room with the magma blocks and i saw that i had had everything to craft a snow golem so i took his head and realized this was the only way to escape because i needed the snow golem to make snow for me so i could take it to make snow blocks and escape so when i spawned in the snow golem i pushed him all around so he would spawn some snow on the floor and after i picked it all up i was able to get 20 snowballs which was exactly enough to get out of this area then i crafted all of my snowballs into snow blocks and i built my way out of there so now i was back in the main room and i checked to see how much levels it would cost to enchant my sword and it was only six so i decided to use all my bottles of enchantment and I had seven levels and I enchanted my wooden sword with looting three and with the looting three sword I was now able to kill the spider and hopefully get enough string to craft a wool block and with the wool block I would be able to see what's inside the chest but when I killed the spider it dropped multiple string but it was only two and it wasn't enough to craft a piece of wool so I was stuck I had no way to reach that chest but then I realized I could use a snow block from before so I went and used my shovel to mine it and I got four snowballs and with the four snowballs I crafted a snow block and I placed it under the chest and I was able to grab grab the redstone block inside of the chest. Then I went to the sign and I placed the redstone block right under it. And when I turned around, I saw that it opened a hole in the wall. And once I went inside, there was no way to get back up. So after I jumped down, I found that there was a stairway all the way down to a room that was completely empty except for a furnace and what seemed to be a crafting table in the middle of the room. And I had no idea what to do or how to escape this area. I checked inside the furnace, but there was nothing there. And I tried to go back up the stairs to see if there was something I missed, but there was nothing. I was completely stuck and I had no idea what to do. So I went back into the room Room, and I tried to click on the crafting table, but it was too high up for me to stay in it. But then I noticed that there was a hole in a wall and there was a chest all the way inside it. So I crouched and went to the perfect angle and then I was able to open up the chest. And inside the chest was two sand, wet sponge, three iron ore, three daylight sensors, a torch, and some food. But I was still confused as to what I had to do. I had no idea where to go, but I knew it had something to do with this furnace. Then I looked up and I noticed that there was a hole all the way on the ceiling. And I assumed that was the only way out of here. But I had no way to get up there and not enough blocks to do so but then i had the idea of putting my iron ore in the furnace and i was about to use my sticks to smelt all my iron but then i realized i might need my sticks in the future so i tried to think of something else i could use to smelt the iron and then i realized daylight sensors are actually smeltable so i used my daylight sensors to smelt my iron ore and after i got three iron i used the sand to reach the crafting table and i had two options as to what i would craft i could either craft a bucket or an iron pickaxe but if i crafted an iron pickaxe the only thing i could mine would be the furnace and that wouldn't be enough blocks to reach all the way up there so i kept looking at my inventory and trying to think and then i realized i had a wet sponge and if you didn't know if you smelt a wet sponge and put a bucket in the furnace it becomes a water bucket so now i had a water bucket and i was able to swim all the way to the top and when i got to the top there was a bedrock blocking the path to the new room with a sign that said drop water bucket to enter and honestly i didn't believe my friend took the time to do the redstone to make it so only a water bucket would open this so i tried to use a random item but it didn't work so that means he actually made it so only a water bucket can break the bedrock block so i threw my water bucket 
bucket and it worked. And then I entered the room and on the right, I saw a chest behind a bedrock wall and a lava wall. And on the top, there was barriers. So there was no way I could go in. And then to my left was a small room with a golden pressure plate. And the only way to be able to activate it is with an entity, like a mob or an item. And right next to this little area was a villager. And the villager was trading a torch for a crafting table. And I just happened to have a torch from the last chest. So I traded it for a crafting table. But now that I had the crafting table, there was nothing else I could do. There was no way I could reach this pressure plate with an item. And there was no way I could get to the other side, to that chest over there. I tried to see if he missed any barrier blocks on the top, but he didn't. And I was extremely confused. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. And I kept walking back and forth. And I even went in F5 mode to see if there was anything that I could do. And when I did, I accidentally found out what I was supposed to do. There was a patch of water right behind the lava. And I went inside and survived with two hearts. And at this point, I was able to reach the chest. And inside the chest was literally only a stick. And I had no idea what I was supposed to do with a stick. But then I came to some bigger problems than the stick. I was stuck in this area. There was no way for me to come back. Every attempt I did to try and escape would just lead to me almost dying. And I was stuck for over 10 minutes. And I almost gave up. And at this point, I just ate the last of my steak. And I was feeling defeated. I was really about to fail on a prison called The Peen. I was ashamed. But then I decided to go in F5 again. And I found a second chest. You could literally only see one pixel of it. And when I opened it, I saw an ender pearl. And I was so happy. So I took the ender pearl. And I threw the ender pearl through the lava. And I finally was able to escape the area. But now I was confused. All that was left was a golden pressure plate. And I had no idea what to do to reach it. I tried to throw my shovel. And it didn't even reach halfway to the pressure plate. I was stumped. So I placed the crafting table and tried to think what I could craft. And then I realized I can craft a fishing rod. And if you didn't know, the lead of a fishing rod is considered as an entity. So when it hits the golden pressure plate, it's going to activate it. So I turned around to see what happened and I saw a hole appeared and it led all the way down to a water block. So I jumped down and it led me into a room and I saw a chest and in the chest, it had three buckets, nine wheat and six sugarcane. But I had no idea what to do with these items. So I decided to check around the room and on the right was a way to escape the room, but it was over a four block tall high gap. So I had to somehow get three blocks to climb over it, but I had no idea how I was going to get blocks to climb over it until I found a cow in the corner of the room. So I milked the cow three times and then I realized I had almost all the materials for a cake. And then I also saw a crafting table. So I crafted my sugar cane into sugar and then went to craft a cake. But then I realized I was missing a key ingredient and that was an egg. So I kept looking around to see if there was anything I missed. And then I realized that the cow was standing on a chest and it took me like five minutes straight to get this chest. But then I realized I don't even need the chest. There's water right here and I have a bucket. So I drank the milk and picked up the water and escaped the room. And this room was the last room. And so that means I escaped the peen. I never thought I would be saying that out loud. I just spent an hour inside a peen. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Please subscribe. I am begging you. <laughs>